and better and as we grow closer to each other nobody can help us how much crazier has your social life gotten in the last month oh doing the interviews <laughs> in the spotlight now uh i, I, I just gonna say i gained a bunch of followers on instagram <laughs> What do you think of all the Ollie chants? What do you think of all the Ollie chants? Happening pregame, happening last night at homecoming. What's that like? Uh, it's just it's great, honestly. Whenever you, you know, the whole school's behind you and behind your team, and it's just it's just a great thing to hear. I mean, they had an allowed hundred yard rusher all season. You nearly tripled that, obviously. How much of the run game in Brink tonight was was, a, was an attitude thing? Was a mindset? You know, it just rubbed me the wrong way when teams think they can just stop us in the run game. You know, so I feel like that was just more motivation to break the 100 yards that they haven't let us. Is that like a personal thing for you? Yeah. It's more of like, I feel like they're disrespecting us if they think they're going to keep us in the same direction. You know, with our line, you know, our, you know, our backs, we, we can work over 100. Is that weird to think about compared to where you were the first three weeks of the season? A little bit, yes. A little bit. The past couple weeks, you've talked about the revenge tour. Next week, there's, a, there's another moment for that. I mean, this week, we were just focusing on this week. Because, you know, whenever you get to looking too far ahead of the road, that's when stuff starts going wrong. So, you know, we take it one week at a time. And now now that that week's here, you know, we're focused on that game. What, what, what do you – obviously, you, you, you are focused on Cincinnati, focus on this week. I mean, what do you kind of expect from Bedlam next week when you have on, uh, on the stage? I, I expect, you know, folks to come out on time. Where does this rank going back – High school, middle school, as far back as you want. Where does this rank in terms of you know, the last three or four games, best running stretches of your career? Is this uh, up there? Yeah, it's definitely up there. Okay. Any others come to mind? Did, did you rip off 100-yard games? By the, I mean, what's the other stretch, is it? Uh, I mean, I had, I had one in high school. I mean, I had a couple in high school. But I just feel like, you know, when you do it at the college level, it's, it's very different. Yeah. And, you know, the comp, everybody's good. It's not like you're just playing, you know, mediocre people. Everybody's good when you play college football. Do you have anybody that's, whether, you know, a teammate or coaches or, you know, people in the community that kind of, um, not, hand, not hand, held your hand, but someone's kind of guided you through, like, the, the attention, through the social media, through the, you know, just kind of keeping your head level, I guess, and just kind of, you know, walking you through it? Uh, I mean, you, you can say Coach Gunny, because he always tell me to stay homeboy hungry. And then my, my uh, parents also do come in. Appreciate that. You're probably not used to doing the, you know, being on ESPN, doing the interviews. There's probably a lot that's new to you. How do you kind of stay grounded? I mean, like I said earlier, when that next day hits after the game, nobody's going to care about what you get against Cincinnati. Oklahoma's not going to care about that, you know. It's going to be a whole different game, a whole new stage. And, you know, we just got to keep doing it. Right. Did you like the camera? Yeah, I like the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ali. Yes, sir. You mentioned all the, the, the Twitter followers and the, anything NIL you want to do? or uh, Oh, I think, you know, I really, I really want to, I either want to deal with PSD or Olive Garden. You know, that'd be, <laughs> that'd be tough. Think about it, Olive Garden, Ollie Gordon, it's, you know, it's, it's there. It's there. I assume you frequent that restaurant anyway, if you want an NIL deal from it. You, you big Olive, Olive Garden guy? Yeah, Olive Garden's good, you know. Probably hit it every, you know, every, every so and so Thursday we'll go. Hey, you've probably been asked about the big fellas too, but I, I, Mike really shouted them out too at his press conference. They opened up some holes for you. What, what's those? What's been like running behind those guys the last three, four games? I mean, it's great when all five up front can handle business, and then you add six or seven whenever our tight end and fullbacks come in to block. So it's just really great that they're always working. They don't, no matter what it is, they're always working. Ali, when you think back, you had I think nineteen touches under the first three games of the season, and now for whatever. Mm. What goes through your mind when, when you kind of think back to how far you've come personally this, this season? Uh, like what Gunny says, it, it just makes me more hungry. Especially if they put my name in that conversation, you know, you just got to keep working. What is it about you that wants to stay hungry? Because most people would get to that level and be like, okay, that's cool that I'm in it. But it seems like you kind of want more, even though your name might be in that conversation. I mean, as a person, you never stop growing and learning. And, you know, you, you can always get better. You know, each day is a new day to get better. I know you only have last year to compare this to, but um, it feels like from the outside that Casey Dillon is kind of taking creativity with this offense to another level. Do you guys sense that? And and what's it like kind of, you know, installing new stuff on a pretty regular basis and those sorts of things you're doing right now? It's really a great thing, you know. We can leave Coach Dillon with an open mind to call anything he wants whenever we're out there handling what we got to do, you know. 
and you know, shout out to Coach Dunn because he is he is pulling some stuff out that playbook. But I mean, when you got the guys up front handling business, the receivers catching the ball, you have a quarterback that's smart, you know, he's great, controls the game. Coach Dunn can really do whatever he wants. Talking about the the attention when you were a kid, what, did you expect this before you even you know turned twenty that fans would be changing yeah, your name and you know you'd have opportunities and you know thousands of Instagram followers? Yeah, I didn't even think about that. All I wanted to do was play football when I was a kid. You know, I just wanted to play at the college level. Good. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks Ollie. Ollie. Yeah, thank y'all. Y'all have a great